How many people have followed the Richard Grannon 30 day challenge thread? The message thread? So people know. Guilty. Guilty is charged. Tell, tell us what happened. Well, I got erased because of these, these posts. <laughs> So this was my final post that got me erased and kicked out. A bit of free association about manipulation. What's more important here? <laughs> not causing discomfort and not triggering emotional flashbacks to those with really weak minds or oversensitive ears. And not triggering fear, shame, or guilt in the moderators of this forum that they might not feel good enough in their roles. <laughs> that would be triggering their shame and depression about what their ideal would be. <laughs> Using my so anger this... <laughs> to call out oh. his shame <laughs> in the 30-day challenge. And then to summarize, essentially, am I supposed to transfer my excess other focus, which is a common issue of codependence, <laughs> from my past abuser and now displace it now into becoming excessively focused on other people's feelings in this group, <laughs> along with people pleasing the moderators and the teacher? And then I gave a little counter. Or is it more important for healing? Does he say lemming? <laughs> Deep. It's coming. Yeah, lemming. <laughs> to focus on exploring what feels authentic, important to me, and what I really can't help but caring deeply about. <laughs> this is your true values, something that you can't help but be fixated on. Your attention already knows what's important. Follow your attention, follow what makes your heart hurt. No, this was in the 30 day challenge. Yeah, day you one. turned it into a 48 hour challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and then, or is it more important to get out of the false dichotomy of me versus them? Is it my need or your need that's more important? Oh, and okay. Prioritize okay. honesty, reality, and truth. What happened? How about you go back and show us? I posted this in my day one exercise. <laughs> right here. Day one. Friday. My initial post at 11.55. So you made it through day one of the 30-day challenge? <laughs> yes, I made it to most of day one. I told you, it's a, it's a bitch program. It's hard. And there's a bunch of wine. Like it's it's really. It's difficult. not hard. I got erased. Yeah. <laughs> you no. Know, do you get your money back? I did no, get a refund. No, he got erased because he failed, Brenda. He got erased because he questioned the he questioned the overlords who then smacked him down <laughs> and kicked him out. He questioned the entire like. He validated the, their work. Yeah, the, the idea, the ideology of the entire program, as well as the people who were overseeing it, like the like. Good job, though. Oh, you're assuming it's a democracy. No, no, no. Well, it's, I mean, yeah. It's, well, this is a final post. Earlier, I gave more get details. Get somebody out of a chat. Who does that? Unless they're, like, being, like, you know, really, like, <laughs> over the top. Who who kicks someone out of a... Of a, of a oh, no, but he got his money oh, back. I said, it's like, okay, Brenda, he got his 50 bucks back, so it's okay. <laughs> Like, well, who's, they who's, refunded him. Okay, let's think about the person who's like, let's delete this person. Like, they don't need, like, like even if you thought, like, oh, wow, that's out of line. Why did we go to the delete? Like, did you get an email warning or a call or, a like, a flag that was, like, not cool? Or did they just, like, delete you? No warning, no information, just... They seem, they seem great. Disappeared. So did they erase you or did they just erase your post? They erased my post and then I got a refund and was erased. Oh my God. Like, so we erased your post. Here's your refund. By the way, you're, you're kicked out. If you No story. No, just refund. No words. 
What the fuck? <laughs> Didn't even get your kicked out. Just a refund and got erased. No, no words. You think it's because you call them lemmings? I have no idea. I have no words. <laughs> it hasn't. No one's told me anything outside of getting erased and. Okay. So more more importantly, how are you manufacturing your letter to them, discussing this issue? Would you like my mother-in-law, ex-mother-in-law, to help you? She'll write a letter. Who do I send a letter and what do I send it about? I think the message of being a race Granite. means they're not receptive. Write it to Richard yeah. and have it say, mm -hmm. God help me. God help you. <laughs> I think just take a hint. How is that helping anything? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, if you really feel that passion about what you're writing, you know, you, maybe it'll help him change it for, for the, the, you know, for the better. No, I, earlier I already dissected why this is a live case study of the group as tone policing <laughs> through a double bind okay, of can I quoting ask you his own rules of saying, you are in charge of how you're doing this course and use it as it suits you with a contradictory rule of please stick to the confines of the course <laughs> and it's only about doing your work and helping others and nothing else and anything that falls outside of that may be quietly deleted. Did you, when you were writing it, did you have like that little thing that goes up the back of your neck that was like, Dexter, like, don't do it. Dexter, don't kill them. They're nice people. Because of writing that? this, why would I have? No, no, no. I, I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I had you... done the 30 day challenge in January and tortured myself to fit through it. So. Since it was the exact same exercises, I wanted to test the structure earlier, so I called it out. Yes. Thank you, Kurt. <laughs> Speaking code. <laughs> well, and then I said, it seems like the rules are more about us fitting into a codependent, conflict-averse, shared fantasy and not really about providing a consistent, predictable community that allows members to explore and share in a way that promotes self-agency. That's the land of a toxified outer critic losing yourself in others and imposing your own shadow issues onto others, often under the guise of healing empathy and support. And then I gave him a tip. So if the toxic outer critic wants to add something, wants to add another shaming or silencing rule, why not be more honest and say no questioning of the inconsistencies in the teaching or system? It's always the student who needs to get lost in their emotions and story, and never, ever the teacher. Always a big fan of calling bullshit. <laughs> Us, I was inspired by Greg. It's all Greg's fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Greg, you bastard. We're blaming you for everything now. See, newbies, you stay here for three weeks. This is what happens to you. Oh. Uh. I thought we were blaming Brene Brown's husband. Steve. He's a oh, good Steve. target, too. Oh, it's, yeah, Steve chose that fucking denim jacket that we keep seeing her wearing. God, what was she thinking? So that happened Saturday, so I'm still trying to make sense of what happened. But now I have the 30 day challenge and I'm doing it outside of the challenge so I can more openly uh, analyze the exercise uh, structure and what it's trying to do, how it's limited and how it's, uh, how it It's sort interesting of helps. to see your perception how, since the last one, Dave, there's been, you can see the shift in the the way you're answering and the way you're saying it. It's really interesting to watch as an outsider, I'll, I'll say that. And you can go back to the actual prior 30 day challenge and see my frustration back then too. So. But you'd think 
if I were to do another 30 day challenge and I saw my first one, people were starting to dysregulate by day four or five. I would make some <laughs> changes for the second one. <laughs> where Granon just sort of gave some looser opening and somehow he thinks that's gonna work better. Money. <laughs> or is it a money grab? Maybe it's a money grab. Yeah, I think it's a money grab. I think he needs the cash. But um, it feels like it's still Spartan Life Coach continued. Okay, so that's a link to the 30 day challenge tracker, which has a lot of guest views. I don't know how many people are viewing it from the internet. It's somewhat entertaining. Let's see who's still around. We still have some of the newbies. Oh, the two Scottish Scotland people are still here. Or three or four or five. Can I ask Deep, were you trying to be antagonistic by posting that? Oh. Well, the exercise. What was the exercise wording? Let me see. Today is a written exercise for overcoming narcissistic abuse. I was also trying to address the actual exercise. <laughs> Let me see. They obviously took you as a troll. They took me as a troll. I have my name and I posted my video and all this stuff. So. I don't think you can post in there as a troll. I think you have to be... A Part of the a paying person, yeah. Yeah, you're a paying person, but they treated you like a troll by kicking you out. Huh. Because what you were giving them was a, an honest critique of the program. And they took it as, oh, he's a hypercritical jerk. What a troll. Delete. Yeah, I mean, Dave but Exercise one, one said recognizing manipulation. Dude, Dale Carnegie would be pissed at this business model. That's all I'm well, all that's, all that's happened is Dave's, Dave's held up a mirror twice and they don't like that and when they're looking into the mirror uh, they freak out and they do what they do that's all that's happened you know the end of this exercise said we must train our minds to see things as they truly are that was the exercise <laughs> recognize manipulation to like take the anvil to your post when the whole idea is to get yourself out of your 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 cognitive dissonance, right? You're pointing out reality. Might have been a little abrupt, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But it's one yeah. post of a hundred other posts. Yeah, and I'm sure there's shit in the other ones too that are like, oh, I, I well now I don't feel as much good about the unicorn that I see it in bed every night or whatever they're going to say, right? Like uh, what's to say that there isn't something else in there. That's like, you know, even weirder, right. Or, or like even more contrary, well, I, you should go on there and be the person they want to be. Oh, I feel so much better today. Uh, I read the post and I finally am coming out of this awareness that I, I serve other people and woohoo. Now I know I have self-worth and I'll never, ever, ever be codependent on anything again. And I'm going to make my own dinner. Just mine. Dinner. Signed, Brenda. Like, go, that would never get deleted. Right? Yeah. They'd be like, hey, go, Brenda. Sure. Good job. If Come I back just for six days. stewed in my story and dumped how shameful I was and whatever in some I just fantasy. I why about... they would want to lose 50 bucks. You would be interesting to... to to, to add to the whole dynamic. If I was them, I would be like, okay, check this guy out. That's what I tried to do on the first 30 day challenge of being a little less uh, pro uh, critical. It is in that form thread. You can see how I posted stuff to, that was less edgier. <laughs> so I survived the, the January 30 day challenge through the end, except Joe some 
empath uh, foreign bully. I had to go back and forth with her a little. <laughs> you know, I have a I have a friend um, who did the 30 day challenge and they like kept going as a group and they did it for like over a year and a half. So like their group like started and they like kept going. I, I, I don't even know that they might still be doing it. I should ask her. Mm. They like all like stayed together. So, but that was a long, I mean, that was an earlier one. This recent one in January, there was somebody who started a telegram group to try to continue. And it didn't last. <laughs> she posted it and no one continued. So I think this recent one was is harder because it's it's just resentment. Or it's just never again the framing of this. Yeah. Force yourself to never overgive or something. It's just It's sloppy. 